set up a nuke box that I want to install a bee package into. So I'm going to get a few packages from my beekeeping mentors, at least one of them. And uh, I always like to have a few packages every year from him. They're local bees to my area and I like to have a nice diverse genetics in my bee yard. Now right next to me, if you watch one of my other videos, uh, I just retrieved this colony from a tree just two days or well actually uh, yeah, I think it was two days ago and they're doing great so far I'm not even gonna open them for at least a week or two I'm just gonna let them settle in but they are busy and they're bringing in all kinds of pollen and doing their thing so I'm really happy about them uh, we had a really good success rate with saving that colony out of the tree barely any bees were killed in the process so I'm really happy about that but let's talk about getting our nuke box set up because that's what we want to do with the package we're gonna start them off in a nuke so this is a five frame nuke so I just got my bottom board an empty hive body and for those of you who watch my videos you know I don't like to use wax foundations, so I just use empty frames with comb guides on them so they can draw their own comb so I'm going to set these in here and I have some comb that I saved from last year. Now if you don't have comb from last year, that's okay. You can use starter strips, one inch uh, sheets of, uh, well, I got a bee that's coming over by me. You can use one inch sheets of starter strip on a regular standard frame, but I'll show you what I'm using. So I know this looks kind of hideous because wax moths had gotten to it. But what I did um, was I put this in the freezer for two days and it killed all the wax moth that was in here. So the bees will clean this up. This is brood comb. You can tell by the dark color and the small cells that are on it. And of course this was comb that the bees drew from top to bottom. There's no, no wax uh, of any sort, not even I don't even think I used a starter strip on this one. I may have, so I'm just looking at it now. Actually, this is a, a frame that would have used either a popsicle stick or a starter strip. But all this webbing from the wax moths has been froze. So if there's any larvas or eggs or whatnot, that's all been taken care of by the freezer. So I'm going to use this every other frame inside the nuke box, and this will give the bees a head start. So, empty frame on this side, right here, comb, next, another empty frame right next to that one. I also have a frame of honey, partial, that I'm going to put in there. Again, that had some wax moth and I wound up freezing it, and the bees will clean this up. I'll, I'll even help them a little. That'll set in here too. Next to an empty frame that I have here. One, two, three, four, five frames. That's ready. And I like to use two five frame medium boxes to start off a three pound package in. So I've got another box with some uh, two frames and I'll add a couple more. I'm gonna see if I got some comb. All right, I've got two frames with comb. I'll set those in there. And now I just need one more empty frame. And there it is. Okay, empty frame, comb frame, empty frame, comb frame, empty frame. Then, the only other thing I do with packaged bees is I will feed them just a little bit. This is my feeder. I don't know if I've shown you this before or not. So this feeder sets on top. It's a top feeder, hive top feeder. I painted them yellow just so I would spot them quickly in the bee yard. I don't want to mistake them for something else. 
But the way they're designed is they sit on top and the bees can only access the feeder here. And they go up into this area with the number eight hardware cloth and they can go down that trough and they can drink the sugar water out of here. Now I'm not a huge advocate of feeding and I only do it to start the package off. I may only just give them the can of syrup that comes with it and that's it. Uh, right now we're in a honey flow so I'd rather see the bees forage and find the best source of food for them which is nectar from flowers. But that will set right on top, just like this, and then my cover. Now this nuke is ready for bees. So whenever I install a package, I uh, spray the bees with a little bit of sugar water before I open the package. This will stop them from flying as much, and it'll give them something to eat too. The next thing I do is just position my boxes so that I'm ready to pour the bees into them. I usually will put them in the lower box if I'm using two or three boxes. And I just need to make a little bit of room to pour the package into this box by removing two or three frames. So I'll just take these two or three frames out, shake off some of the junk on the bottom board if there's any, and then I'm ready to install the bees. Now your package will likely come with a very small piece of Luan plywood stapled over the sugar syrup can. And just be careful when you're removing that because sometimes the staples will get you. And the next thing you want to do is pry loose the staple that holds the queen cage. So you want to get that staple off and then hold on to that plastic tab. So it's a little bit easier if you bump the bees. That way you can remove the syrup can and take your queen bee out first. Once you have your queen out, you can just shake off some of the worker bees. And then I like to remove the plastic tab. I don't really need it at this point of the installation, so I always remove it. Depending on how you install your queen, uh, you may hang her off of a frame. So in that case, you may want to keep that plastic tab on. So now I pour the bees in. And it's, it's better if you can put the bees in directly like this. Some people will just take the plywood off and leave it in front of the hive. That sometimes goes wrong because the bees won't always know where to go. Uh, at when they get put into a package, um, they're with a queen they haven't been with, and now they're a little bit disoriented. So I like to put them right into the hive directly. It doesn't hurt them. You gently put the hive back together so you don't squish any bees. And then I take my queen and I remove the cork from the candy side so that the worker bees can help her get out. And then I set that queen right at the top of the frames below the feeder. There's a little bit of a gap on the feeder that I use, so it works perfect for that. After that, I open up the can of syrup and give the bees a little drink of their sugar syrup. That'll encourage them to stay in the hive that I put them in, and it'll give them something to work with for building comb. Now you're done with the initial installation. All you have to do is come back in two or three days and make sure that the queen got out of her queen cage.
Now, here's another package installation using my GoPro camera. They don't really try to fly in your face, but when you bounce, bounce them around like that and get them a little excited, this will just slow them down. And if they're hungry, which they might be, that'll give them something to eat. So you gotta pry off this first little piece of Luan. Get that out of your way. And there's your sugar syrup right there. I'm gonna get my hive ready, so I'll take the lid off take my feeder off they're gonna crawl up in here and I just need a room a little bit of room to dump them so I have these all ready to go so I'm gonna take out these empty frames right here and that'll just give me some room to empty the bees into and I'll put those frames back in maybe I don't know a half hour or something I'll just come back through I'm not gonna leave them out and then there's ants in here too look at this well ants you got new tenants moving in so hate to break it to you but this is where your queen cage is attached. Now you want to get that out first. Okay, that's real important. Um, so I get my staple off and try not to hurt yourself doing it. Just pry it up, there we go. Okay, now once you've got a hold of your queen cage, that's a good thing. You want to make sure you hang on to that. Positioning the queen in this nuke box is real important. So I always put her at the top of the frames right underneath my feeder and I'll show you that. So here's all our bees. Now they're all clumped up on the syrup. <clears throat> Excuse me. They're all clumped up on the syrup can and the queen cage. So I wanna bump them off of that so I can get the syrup out and my queen cage. And I'm gonna put this back on just to give me a second. I don't want the bees flying all over. I'm gonna put this back on so that I can get that queen where I want her and then I want to dump the bees in. So I'll just keep this handy right here. Give them a bump, nice and firm. Don't be afraid to bump them. Pry up this sugar can, get that out the way, and get your queen out. And see how the bees ain't flying around? That's because we sprayed them with the sugar. So I, I always break this piece of plastic off. That doesn't really do much for me. And my queen bee is in here. See her moving around, good. And I'm just gonna move you guys so I don't squish you by accident and get stung. You need to get the cork off the candy side. There's a cork here, but it would just be a direct release for the queen. So you wanna take the cork off on the candy side. So if you got your hive tool, just gently pull that cork out and you'll be able to get the candy exposed so the bees can eat through that. Now I'm gonna set her right here because that's where I want her right now and now I'm ready to take my package and uh, dump these bees in so let's go ahead and do that so we're just gonna pour them in just like pouring a box of Cheerios in look at them go now when you get down at this point you got to bump them again there we go and then pour them in some more and that's about as much as I think I need to do Put them right there. Got one sting. That's just the way it goes. There we go. My queen is right here. Okay, and then I put my feeder on top. Okay, good. Now, sugar syrup. We want to give them that. So open it up. You can just use your hive tool like that. Pour it in. This is the feeder I use. You might have something different. I like these. They, they work pretty good. I got me a sting in the forehead and a sting in the ear. Just because I had the GoPro on, they probably don't like the GoPro. These bees are too shy. All right. And then I just put the package right in front here. And I just move it close and they'll go up in there, no problem. 
All right, that's another package. We'll come back in here, we'll add those frames that we took out. Give them about 30 minutes or so to just group up onto the frames that are in this box right here. That's all five frames. It's got some brood comb they can crawl around on. So once they get, the bees naturally want to go up. So they're going to crawl up from the box that I dumped them in. They're going to crawl onto the comb frames right away that the ones I left in here, then they're going to come up into this box with full five frames. So all I got to do is come back in just a little bit, move this top box off, put those other frames back in once the bees kind of spread out from the clump that we used to dump them in and we're good to go. And we just let them do their thing. We come back in two, three days, release that queen. And that's it. Four out of five queens did not get out as a result of the worker bees chewing through the candy. Interesting, that's why it's important to come back and check. And if she's not out, then this is what you gotta do. You gotta direct release her. All right, the amount of activity on this looks just like the other ones. Okay, guys, I gotta, gonna have to do the shake. You're gonna have to let me do the shake Shake, shake. You're gonna let me put my fingers on it. Okay, you gotta get off my fingers. Hold on a minute. And I just, if you can do one quick shake in front of the hive. There you go. Now it looks like more workers got in there than what were originally put in. So they chewed through some of the candy and they're still trying desperately to chew through more to let that queen out, but she is still not able to get out. So we're gonna do the cork on this side and she'll be going to work with the rest of the bees. And that's that. So we'll set this right here. Hey guys, all right, let me put the queen there for you. Okay, cover them up. And uh, we can come back whenever we want and just take that cage out of there. That queen will go down in the frames. She is not going to stay in the cage. She does not want to be there. All right. Very nice. Ah, oh, it's a beautiful day. The bees are just humming along. Everybody looks good. Oh, now look at this situation I got right here. This is driving me nuts. See that? I'm gonna I'm gonna zoom in a little closer. Now he's a problem, and I'm getting more and more of these guys. These lizards. Yeah, you saw that. Lizards hanging out by my bees. I think they're eating them. I haven't seen them eat one yet, but I think they're eating them. I should open up a pet store selling lizards because they're starting to hang out a lot in my bee yard. 